and I'll give you a tour. I didn't show a lot of the pink house building. It just, just showed the floors and the roof going in and stuff like that and a little bit around it because I showed pretty much all of the um, fancy house, which is very much like it. It's not the exact same thing, but it's really similar. The fancy house has a front and an out bit and the top kind of looks like that. And the pink house is a little bit different. It's actually a little bit uh, more simple and it just goes like that. It, it looks, if you look at that one down there, right in the middle of the picture, it kind of looks um, like it's tall and thin, but it really has a lot of room inside. And from here, it looks kind of wide, but so I'll show you a bit. I'll, I'll go on the outside first. Everything is the same colors as the cathedral theme. And I used uh, purple glass in the windows. You can see a little bit inside the attic there. I'm leaving the attics of the big fancy houses empty so that I or any other player can do what they want with, you know, decorating that, using it for storage, whatever. So on the outside, we have the purple terracotta roof beams, and they go in a basic crisscross front and back and side to side. And I have a, a chimney here which I used brick for the chimney. I could have used something else, but I, I just, you know, just being normal. Um, and then I put uh, a block in it and put the trap doors on it, uh, the red, the crimson cherry doors, and then a fire for the chimney. That was pretty basic. The roof is uh, waxed green copper and the other green copper, just to give it a little bit of texture. Yeah, I really like the, the etched look of the chiseled quartz block. Uh, because it just gives it a bit of texture without even adding different blocks and stuff. From, from a slight distance away, you can see it has a little bit of life to it. And then it's prismarine for the, for the center floor and the foundation. It's got a wraparound porch. And I used um, pink cherry wood trap doors for uh, window and door decorations and cherry wood uh, stairs for seating. And I made a little swing out here on this side. And I'm pretty sure I used purple glass in all the windows. You can see these prismarine posts here along with the, the warped wood, the warped green wood fence posts. And again, I used the green um, copper for the front stairs and the porch. I used blocks and slabs for that. You get the house and then you have a wraparound porch. So I didn't build underneath it. You can do, you know, it's usually in real life left open like that. And then I have a side porch and I use purple terracotta for the, for the outline of the building too, to match some of the church build. I have a side porch here with the warped green fence, little pots, little pots of flowers. And I used, I'm pretty sure it's a, a, a birch doors I would used. Chiseled quartz block around the whole bottom and just decorations of using the cherry trap doors even when there are, where there are no windows. I put some pot potted plants on the wraparound fence on the front of the build too, and some lanterns hanging in there so you can sit on the swing at night. Hello, sheep. The upstairs has plenty of windows all around, a little door to come out on its wraparound porch, and we'll go inside and I can show you the inside. I'm gonna shut that door because I have some pet bats around here somewhere. I used the cherry wood trap doors as curtains, but not on every single window this time, like in the fancy greenhouse. I just put some red uh, crimson buttons on the sides of the walls just for a little bit of decoration and instead of just curtains everywhere. Added a brewery and everything you see in this house is what I saved it as. The library books and some plants and all the paintings I have above the windows. I do not know the names of all the paintings. This, the ceiling is exactly as the floor upstairs. It's not quite a checker floor. It's every other block kind of uh, thing for the purple the terracotta and chiseled quartz block. And a little stair thing just for reading chairs. I didn't get too fancy with the chairs. When I did the fancy greenhouse, I got a little fancier with the, with the furniture and use trap doors. And then when I moved it and I, sa I saved it and I placed it here in the village, almost all the trap doors moved. Here's the, um, a fireplace I built downstairs in the, what I would call the lounge room. And so you have a little couch here and, and a carpet and you can sit and watch the, the cozy fire. That's got uh, all copper around it. 
and um, <laughs> that little black thing you just saw, that was a bat. I don't know, he's stuck in there or something. I didn't build him like that, he got in there by himself. And I just put some uh, pots around, just, just for a sort of decoration. And some lanterns in, in the back there on the roof. And I got a, a metal fence in the front for a grate. I just put these, um, a little piece of glass and a candle, the blue candles on top. And I have potted, the potted uh, decorative pots with plants, planted pots on top with um, the, a, a sort of, uh, I forget what that tropical plant is, but there you go. And they, these just two pieces of glass here just to stick out. I was going to make like a lantern out of them, but I just thought it looked nice just like that. And I didn't stick, it is just a little gray here. So if this is used in survival mode or anything, it probably does need a little lighting in these corners and on the ceiling. I didn't save a lot in these chests, but I did save some stuff, some seeds, and just, just some, you know, basic, a couple of basic things. Some, all, I usually do try to add every house uh, some diamonds and some emeralds, so you got some of that there. I don't think there's anything. Oh, there is a little bit in that one too. Just whatever I had left over as I was doing stuff. And there's some armor there. Let's go upstairs. That stairway. Uh, no curtains on this side of the wall or on that side of the wall. Because I was over, I just felt like I was overdoing it with the curtains. But there's uh, curtains on the sides of the door and the windows over this side. Uh, going out to the upstairs balcony. I'll just show you that. You just come out here. This is the upstairs wraparound balcony. I love this purple terracotta. <laughs> so you get a feel for, you know, the same materials used in the cathedral. And this is what it looks like when you enter the upstairs. I have some paintings on the sides here. And these are uh, warped wood blocks with the buttons on the si on the sides. They're just there to decorate, like, as if they were little dressers, draw dresser drawers. And I have some looms in the back, just to make it look like little wooden tables. If you want to get the same paintings in a particular spot, you put something around it. Let me see. Um, you just, like, like that. And like that and you just use the space you can even do that so you could just use the space and then you click where you want your painting you can even put something here so that it takes up the space if you want this thin painting right and then you keep clicking on the area where they want to place the painting and then you if you're not getting the right painting that you want you just destroy it and keep clicking again and sooner or later you're gonna get the painting you want so you can pretty much match them up place them where you want over here I like this painting because it looks like an angel and I don't know what else is in the picture but it's really pretty these little guys have their <laughs> have their uh, armor uh, on already <laughs> and these uh, these end bl blocks they're just supposed to be I figured that would help anybody that had the house you know towards the end there's one, two, three, four, five of them. I just thought that they, they look nifty, like a different kind of little dresser, you know, or furniture or whatever. And you've got your library back here and a, le and a lectern and um, your enchanted book stand. And I put a, a little stairway. Now the fancy greenhouse has a ladder just, just about over here up to the roof, up to the attic. But this has a, a just a little plain stairway up to the attic and a glass protective ban banister and this is the attic and I already put a couple lan lanterns up here I hung glass with the lantern and you've got your purple glass uh, windows and stuff purple glass hanging for the lanterns and a little tiny one in the middle so that's the attic and you can see the roof and stuff so and you can just shape it the way you want and add uh, walls or whatever and here's the bed and I have a little carpet in front of it. <laughs> that is the, that's what the bedroom looks like. And just like the warped wood uh, dressers, I used cherry wood for blocks and buttons for dressers. And I put a little amethyst there and a, and a bell. Oh, <laughs> I threw the bell away. <laughs> well, we'll have to fix that. <laughs> there. I meant to do that. <laughs> There, and I got a dragon's egg there. The dragon's egg is there just to make it look like it's like a stuffed animal. Purple bed. I just put three there because it's just, it's nicer. 
and it's not real fancy, but I do have some pink uh, carved blocks behind it. It's not carved blocks, but I forget what they are. Just pink something. Um, pink stone. And I put a little flower there and some candles, because people have candles in their bedroom. And some anthus things around, just for decoration. And some looms for uh, side tables. Turquoise carpet on the ends here. Paintings on this side too. Yeah, I got some uh, glass. I, I crossed some glass. Really, really simple chandeliers. Nothing fancy. Just to uh, light it up and make it nice and matching and stuff like that. And I've got the purple uh, a magenta glass. Uh, yeah, I got purple glass windows, but I wanted the, a lot of magenta in here. So I use the magenta glass for the hanging lanterns. And that is the pink house. And there you go. Thanks for watching.